What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Monday morning to you, and welcome to our devotional series. We're in our walk through the book of Philippians, which is a, a smaller part of our walk through the prison epistles. And so, anyway, we're starting our third week through the book of Philippians, and we're still in chapter one. That's how good, that's how rich this book of the Bible is. It's been so good. And so, it really begins with Paul just saying, hey, this is my favorite church. I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. And then he pivots into telling his story about how and why he's in prison and what he's going through. And um, he says something really interesting here that I want to lean into. He goes, even though I'm in prison, yes, I will continue to rejoice. For I know that through your prayers and God's provision of the spirit of Jesus Christ, what has happened to me will turn out for my deliverance. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. And so what he's saying here is this. He goes, hey, look, I'm in prison I'm kind of waiting for maybe my execution. I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm hoping, expecting, I'm eagerly waiting. You know, I I, I think I'm going to be delivered. But even not, I don't know. I want to make sure I'm glorifying Jesus even in my life. I'm glorifying Jesus even in my death. But he says something there right in the middle that I want to land on today. He says this. He goes, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage. I want to land there right now. I will in no way be ashamed. You know, that that kind of like rings of Romans chapter 1 where he goes, I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation, right? So he goes, I don't want to live a life where I'm ever ashamed of, of Jesus and the work that Jesus has done in my heart and in my life. I never want to be ashamed of that. But I want to be praying that I have sufficient courage. I just love that idea. Um, there's this movie that I watched a long time ago, and it's got this one scene in it. It's, it's, it's a kind of a corny movie. It's called We Bought a Zoo. And in it, Matt Damon is telling his son about the day he met his, 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 his wife and how he, he asked his wife out on a day, and then later it comes up again. But he says these lines. He goes, son, sometimes in life, all you need is 20 seconds of insane courage. And it's so true. Um, courage is one of those things that you couple with every other virtue, right? And sometimes if you can just muster a little bit of courage to take that first step, sometimes once you take the first step, you, you can't go back anyway, right? Like, I don't know if you were like this, but when I was a kid, I grew up with a pool down the street from my house and there was a low dive and there was a high dive. And if you were a little kid, you you remember the fear of going off the high dive for the very first time. And so what I realized was is that you needed just a little bit of courage to climb that ladder and get up there. Because really, once you climb that ladder, you could not get down. There was a line of other kids now yelling at you, <laughs> hurry up, it's my turn, hurry up and go, you're taking forever. And so you didn't need the courage to jump. You needed 20 seconds of insane courage just to kind of like take those few steps up the ladder because once you did that, those kids wouldn't let you down anyway. And so anyway, we all need that in life. We need that virtue called courage. And what happens is, is that when we couple that with all the other virtues, that's what really kind of like helps us to actually fulfill the calling that God's given us. As a matter of fact, C.S. Lewis has a brilliant quote on courage. He says, courage is not simply one of the virtues, but the form of every virtue at the testing point, which means at the point of highest reality. What he was saying was this, is that if you took a a, a different kind of virtue, like love or generosity, sometimes if you don't couple that with courage, it, it, it prevents you from making that act of kindness, from, from writing that check, from pulling the trigger on that, you know, that act of love and kindness. And so courage is what you couple with that. And so I love what the apostle Paul says. He goes, I hope in no way that I'm ever ashamed, but I have sufficient courage. And I want you to be praying today about this. Like what has God called me to do? That maybe I'm a little afraid. I'm a little scared. I'm a little reluctant. I'm not sure of myself. And you don't have to be sure of yourself all the way, all the time. That's the thing about courage. Courage, this is a great quote, courage is not the absence of fear. It's not. Courage is actually feeling the fear and then doing it anyway, 
right? So because without fear, think about it, there would be no need for courage. So fear, the context of fear is actually what gives you an opportunity to be courageous. Faith works the same way, right? Like if there was no room for doubt, you would never even need faith. And so you have to remember that, that you might find yourself coming up against something in life where you're a little nervous, you're a little afraid, you're a little reluctant, and you're praying like the Apostle Paul, God, would you give me sufficient courage? I need just enough, maybe just 20 seconds of insane courage to say yes to you, to say yes to your calling on my life, to say yes to whatever it is that you're nudging me to do, encouraging me to do. And so I want to pray for you today that you have sufficient courage. Can I do that? Heavenly Father, I lift up everyone within the sound of my voice, God. There's a thing within them that they know they need to step out in faith, They need to go for it. And God, they feel the fear, but God, I pray that they would feel it and say yes to you anyway, that they would be so bold and so courageous that God, today even, your Holy Spirit would give them sufficient courage to do whatever it is that you've called them to do. Lord, we pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody shout amen. Church, I love you guys so much. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.